All right, hello everyone. Today I will be breaking down my fight in ESFL 150 against KM Caliber. And honestly, this is a very interesting fight to break down, not only because of what happened, how I won, and just overall the fight and how it went. It was not what I was expecting, but look, let's get into it. Now, honestly, to get the type of finish that I did, it's very hard. It's very hard for a number of reasons why that's not. Uh, but yeah, I'm posting again, man, and right here, Cal is pressuring me off the bat. He is just fucking leaking that on me. He is not, he's not holding back. Right there, I get a hook uppercut. Right there, what I should start doing more, uh, like against Cal, that's the first thing I notice, is that he sways to the left or to the right a lot. He always expects you to throw an uppercut some, sometime in your combination. So, what I should have done, well, what I did, I guess, end up doing at the end, you'll see how I, uh, I adapt to that and how I read that. It's just uh, it's just a lot about reading your opponent's tendencies. But here he probably he honestly had me figured out. He he did he had Zayf YT in his corner. The he's Zayf YT obviously known for being a great corner man. And right here it's just all him so far except for that rock that was me. I think in a little bit the momentum's gonna swing back my way. I get another rock. Oh no no I think that's the only one I got that with that first round. But I think after this, it's all him. Like after after that rock, this fight literally just goes all his way. And he's not letting up. He's got Robbie Lawler, and why would he? He's got Robbie fucking Lawler. He's just fucking uh, pressuring me, and that's what he went with the whole fight. It's just pressure leaks. I know a lot of them probably think that I can't handle pressure. Sometimes I can. Sometimes I can. I honestly was playing really horribly this fucking fight. I don't know what went into me, but I just was not. I just wasn't on it, man. And I'm honestly surprised I didn't lose this fight. But I'm just right now. I'm honestly just trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. Right there, right there. I will say. Hold on, how I pause this? Okay, right there. I didn't even mean to throw a regular uppercut. I meant to throw a body uppercut. But that day, I don't know what was going on. But every time I tried throwing a body uppercut, it would throw a regular uppercut. So maybe it's my controller. I don't know. But all right, back to this video. Like, that rock should not have happened, in my opinion. And right there, that was just stupid of me. Uh, I should have known that he was trying to pressure, and I was against the cage, and I th tried throwing a body kick, thinking he wasn't going to throw any more combos. And he sat me down and made me pay for it. What else goes on in this fight, honestly? It's just a lot of him whooping my ass. <laughs> it's just a lot of him beating the fucking hell out of me, man. I don't know how I won this, honestly. Is he just standing still? I'm guessing he learned this one from Zayaf. Zayaf just stands still a lot. He stands still a lot and he just fucking waits for you to come at him. And you eventually get dropped by a straight hook or a jab straight. Or a jab hook. Right here he's pretty much just breaking me apart. Landing literally all the shots to my block. My block right now is getting shattered. He lands that uppercut. I'm rocked. I'm on the back foot. And I think, yeah, so it's safe to say this round went to him, it all went to him, except for the beginning. I started off good by uh, sort of making him pay for coming at me that strong, but then he just bulldozed me. So I guess that's something I have to learn from my next fight, just a lot of more teeps. Make them, make them miss more, honestly. Yes, make them miss more. He was not missing anything. You just saw every shot that he was throwing landed, every straight, every body jab, every hook, everything was landing. But if I make, if I sway a little more, move like my left stick to the right, to the left, down, right there, oh my god, now he's just got the body, I mean the head hook landed. That's probably what I should keep into account. A fight I watched, I like to watch all the time, and I'll leave it in the description, is ESFL, I forgot what it was, but it's Blake Tyler versus Zaya. I mean, sits me down again, like it's just an absolute mauling right now. He has a head hook advantage, he's landing everything, I'm not making him miss anything, he's not paying for for literally anything, everything's connecting, he's not making any mistakes. I'm not making, letting him make mistakes either, he's just doing what he wants to me. But another fight, a fight I like to watch when I want to play technical and I want to gas my opponent out is Blake Tyler versus Zaya. Zaya 
because I just didn't have an answer to Blake that night. Blake was just, he was just on it, man. He was just fucking on it. And right there, I guess I start, I start pressuring because I realized I was like, if I don't pressure him and I just let him pressure me, I'm going to lose this fight sooner rather than later. Like, everything's still connecting, but now I'm actually hitting back, you know? Now I'm not just letting him hit me. Now I'm actually fighting back. He's not letting up, man. He is not letting up. Jab uppercut. And right here. Boom. Almost had it. Almost, almost had it. But Robbie Lawler, not going to go down that easy. And right here, I do I do something really nice. Um, you'll see it in a bit. But right now, he's, he's, now he's scared. Now he's respecting me again. I got his respect. Now he's on the back foot. And I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Hit him with the one, two. Ducks that hook. And I think, look, he throws a combo. He wastes the stuff. I faint the jab, and I throw a fucking front kick. That was so smart of me, honestly. Because what he would do is he'd stand there like Zayaf does when I go in and try to hit me with a straight hook to just rock me and end the fight. But I saw he was going to do that, so I fainted the jab. I threw a front kick and let him mess himself up by throwing the straight. Right here, I go jab, hook, hook, straight. Because I knew he was going to sway to the side since I read that habit in the beginning of the round, of the first round. He's, he's down, and I, I tried. I was like, okay, I could steal this. I could make a really good comeback. So I do something that Blake Tyler does, which is he'll go straight, and then he goes hook. I should have gone. I tried going straight, hook, straight, because it works a lot. But I went straight, hook, hook. No, I went straight, straight, hook, straight. Look. I fake the jab, front kick, jab, hook, hook, straight. And boom, that is the fight. And I just came back from a fucking mauling, honestly. But it's very hard to do this against opponents like Cal. Cal is very good. His striking is honestly almost as good as mine, if not as good as mine. And I honestly, I guess I just got really lucky at the end with the Whitaker pick. But man, GG's to Caliber. That was a great fight, and that's just my opinion on the fight, how it went, and just trying to correct my mistakes for next time. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you are new. Hit that like button if you are also new. And I will catch you all in my next video. See you all later.